Well, I made it out here to the lake and it's pouring down rain. You know, I hate it when it rains and I go water detecting because I get wet. All right, let's go have some fun. Let's go see what we get. everyone I got all my stuff in the office done so I thought I'd head out to the lake today and see what I can find I'm headed up to a lake about uh, 50 minutes away from me it's got three different uh, swim areas in it and uh, the last time I went up there uh, I think I got three rings off that lake and then my friend that I met from Arkansas got a ring so four rings came off of there so it does pretty good this lake is just about when you get on it, you know, if you're the first one after things have been dropped, it's going to be a good time for you. But if you're the second after someone's already hunted it, it's, it's not going to have much. So, uh, but anyway, I've got a little drive to go. And when I get there, I'll see you out in the water. Ten minutes and it's real quiet on the front side of the swimming area and, and it's real uh, trashy on this back side but uh, believe it or not I was getting a 50 51 and it's uh, I don't know it it, uh, it looks like a, a maybe a gold plated copper ring because it's ringing up so low I, I can't see the, the markings on the inside or not so uh, but that's number one so uh, let's uh, keep on going there may be some more out here all right that's a good sign all right let's keep going Not too much of that other place, just that one ring, a coin spill, not a lot of pull tabs or anything. And so I moved on down to another one now. And uh, we took two rings out of here a couple of videos back. And uh, hopefully there's something here now. So let's get in and see. I have it all to myself. Well, I was working myself back out in uh, shallow water from the deep end. Nothing in the deep end but some coins. And uh, I was working myself back up here, and I was about knee deep. And I was just fixing to quit, and I swung, swung one more time to my left and got an 84. And I'm thinking, well, it's just going to be a dime. It's all I've been digging out of here. And lo and behold, it's another one of those James Avery initial rings. I've been on a roll of these James Avery rings. And I don't know how many of these I've dug in a while. So I've dug a lot of James Avery here lately. All right, that's another silver ring. I got one more area to go. I'm almost out of daylight. Two swim holes, two rings. Going to one more. Let's see if we can make for three for three. All right. Well, I moved out here in the last uh, swim area. I'm out uh, shoulder deep, as you can see, and I got an 80 signal and. And uh, it looks like it's going to be one of those Catholic religious uh, medallions. It could be silver. I have to look at it when I get in. It does kind of shine up there on the bottom. You see that? It could be silver. It rang up like silver. Kind of a low silver. But anyway, almost out of light. Let's keep on going and see what we can get. Well, I came back out to the lake where I found that first ring. And... Uh, it's got a real scratchy signal. It sounded like a bottle cap. That's all I've been digging is bottle caps. And I started not to dig this one because it sounded just like a bottle cap, but just a little bit lower. And uh, pulled it up. It's bringing up a 42. So it's going to be a stainless steel chain. That's nice. I like that. I'll take that any day. All right, let's keep on going and see what we can find. Well, I moved on to the second swim area. I was at uh, the other day and... Uh, found that James Avery ring up in the shallow. I decided to come back out here today on my day off and uh, work the uh, barrier here in the middle and I'm about you know shoulder deep water and it's getting a 44 and I've been digging pull tabs it up as a 44 but check this out guys that I believe is white gold diamond. My eyes are not good but I do see a marking but I can't see what it is. It's got a spacer on the bottom of it for a, a, a finger was too small and they put a spacer on it. But that was ringing up a 44, so that means it would either be gold or stainless, but it sounded like gold. Stainless does sounds a little bit different. And uh, and I'll get back to the truck here in a little bit and get my camera and zoom in and see if that's going to be a white gold uh, 
a diamond ring. That's nice, isn't it? That is real nice. So, uh, missed it last time or it's been dropped since then. It's been about four days. I was back here, here on Monday. Today's Friday. So, uh, I don't know if I missed it because uh, it sounds like a pull tab. Um, but, uh, hey, I'll take that. All right, let's keep on going. Uh, I'm out here just uh, neck deep water. It's getting a 48, 49, real choppy signal. And uh, finally got it scooped up and it's an infinity ring. And it's uh, Mark 925. Uh, I don't know what 925 is ringing up so low, 49. Could be because of those loops or something like that. But that's ring number two out of here. And it's not very far from where I found that other one. And uh, so I'm just trying to go out deep as I can because this place is hunted, but uh, I don't think they go out deep as I do. So, uh, hey, that's, that's good. That's ring number two for the day. That's ring number four for the video. And two out of this swim area. And uh, just working myself real slow and just digging up those real iffy signals. And uh, it's coming out to be in rings. I uh, hope that other one's going to be a white gold diamond ring. And uh, got a nice infinity. All right, let's keep on going. But I met two guys, Guy and Billy. I want to say hello to them. They're uh, up here camping at this lake, all the way from West Texas, and they were Preacher Digger fans. They watched my videos, so that was really neat. I uh, gave them some stickers, took a picture with them, and uh, a guy found a cross uh, right where I hadn't hunted yet. And so, uh, Preacher, he didn't get his cross. Preacher did get, did, didn't get his cross, but uh, guy did. I'm happy for him for that. So it's always good to meet new people out here and uh, in the hobby especially when they're your fans and stuff like that to watch your videos. Well, I moved on to another lake today and uh, I've been here probably 20 minutes and I got a 68-69 and uh, a, lot of, a lot of foil in here, a lot of jumpy signals. But usually 68-69 is going to be a, a tungsten ring and sure enough, I reached down. I'm only in waist deep of water. I'm on my knees right now. I reach down there and I love it when you reach down and the ring uh, if, uh, ring pops up on that finger. All right, that's a nice little tungsten. I dig a lot of these. This is what all the people are wearing these days. And so, hey, I'll take that. Let's keep on going. Still kind of in the same area and it's about 10 minutes since that last ring and Preacher Digger got his cross. up a 43 and uh, a uh, stainless steel ring got a cross on it but uh, I'll take that I'll take anything hey I like finding stuff better than not finding anything at all finding trash right all right that's a good sign I've been here about 30 minutes and uh, got two rings already and I haven't even just began to even touch the this big huge swim area so let's keep on going Well, back out about uh, knee deep water, mid thigh, and uh, got an 82 uh, 3 signal, and it uh, looks like it's going to be a class ring. Well, that's pretty nice, isn't it? I'll have to look at it a little bit later on and, and see if I can't uh, find out who this is, and we'll do a ring return on this one. That's really nice, though. I like that. Big silver ring. I don't know how old it is. I don't see no dates on it, but I don't have the eyes to see that. All right, uh, I've been here about uh, two and a half hours. That's three rings and uh, an earring. And so now I've got so much more to go. All right, let's keep going. I uh, get a 58 to 60 signal. I'm still about waist deep water. Uh, just showing you this. It's kind of a, a, a silver earring with a diamond in it, but I don't think that diamond would be real. But hey, I'll take a silver earring. Well, I was getting a uh, about waist deep water, a 51, 52, real choppy, jumping around just like a, a square pull tab would do. And I like to quit on it twice. And finally, I got it up. It took me forever because I'm on this hard clay base. It's hard to scoop out of this stuff. And uh, man, 51 was ringing up. It's a 10 karat gold ring. Well, I'm on a roll. This is my number. What is that? One, two, three, four rings for today. And got gold, silver and tungsten and stainless steel. 
All right, I'll take gold anytime. All right, let's keep on going. I'm out here in shoulder deep water. Went took me a break, came back out here. I was getting a 50, I mean a 69 to a 71. I think it's gonna be one of those aluminum caps that's kind of bent over. And at first I thought it was a tungsten ring and then I, you know, just finally I got it up after a few minutes. Guys, that is a heavy, heavy 14 karat gold ring. That's my second gold ring today. That thing is heavy, man. Uh, 14 karat, it's got another uh, maker mark in it. I can't see it though, but I saw the 14 on it. That thing's got some weight to it. It's a thick ring too. Look at that. Man, it's just turning out to be an awesome day. This is my fifth ring, second gold ring. All right, let's keep on going. Well, just keep working this uh, deeper water, shoulder deep, and uh, got a 51. And it's a, I think it's gonna be a gold plated ring. It's a little bitty ring, a little stone on top. But it uh, looks like it's uh, gold plating. I can't read any writing on it. I see some stuff coming off of it. Hey, that's number uh, six for the day, isn't it? Uh, that's a lot of rings. I'm gonna have to come back over here. I don't think this lake's been hunted very much. And uh, you can just get a ring about every 30 minutes. You're doing pretty good. All right, let's keep on going for even bigger gold. Got a uh, 47 to a 51, and uh, end up being an Indian head necklace, uh, arrowhead. Still stuff out here. It's been about 20 minutes since I found that gold ring, and uh, I'm just going back and forth, but I'm not even near covering all this, so I'm going to make another trip back, so let's keep swinging. And I'm more out. I've been here since 9 o'clock. It's 4.30 now. But that finishes out this video. I think I got 10 rings all together. Uh, I didn't lost count. But uh, anyway, I'm headed to the house. And I'll see you, I'll see you guys at the wrap-up. Well, another week down. I made it in from the lakes just now. And I've been out there since I got up at 5.30, took off this morning, and got to my first lake and uh, it was closed they had it all locked up i guess they've had some issue with algae and fish dying and they just closed off the swimming area and the last time i went to the swim area there was nothing there so nobody's really swimming and i said pooey so i just headed on out to another lake about an hour hour and a half away from there and uh, i got to that location and the bridge was out so i had a detour and go all the way around i'm like am i supposed to even go hunting today or what you know and I said, I'm not gonna let it discourage me. I went around the detour, went the long way, got to the lake. I was the first one there. He was just opening the gate. Uh, I came in and I was the only detectorist in this lake all day long for seven and a half hours until they closed, the, uh, told us to get out at 4.30. And uh, boy, I am so glad I did. I found, I found gold, lots of gold. You saw that in the video already. But uh, let me spin you around. Let me show you everything that I got from last Friday to this Saturday, okay? All right, this is what we got. All these things ring up like in the 40s a lot of times, and sometimes gold rings and uh, stainless steel rings will be in the 40s, and uh, I, I always dig the signals a lot. And um, I got a shotgun shell and some other junk, a tent peg and some hair stuff. A lot of aluminum caps and bottle caps, fishing weights, a lot of beaver tails uh, at this place and a lot of other square pull tabs. Got a pair of goggles, half a pair of heart glasses, some Tomanita Ivy back glasses, and uh, some Ray-Bans there, or some aviators. A lot of glasses there. Superman something, keychain or something. I did get one little toy car. Well, they always ring up like 80s. They sound really good. We got five, 10, 15, 16 dimes. Five nickels, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 28 pennies. How many quarters do I have? That's one dollar, two, three, four, five dollars and 25 cents. So a lot of money here in this past week, and a lot of that was just out of the lake today. And uh, here we go. Here's my big loop earring. Then we got another little earring. And then we got this thing right here. And that is actually a silver uh, earring 
rings up at like an 80. I thought it was a ring at first. Then we've got an arrowhead, uh, non-precious, and then another piece of a necklace, non-precious. Then another religious symbol there, little kid's bracelet, I guess. And then another um, miracle medallion of Mary or something like that. That's always, that goes in my collection. I have a bunch of those. I just got through making a whole collection of these. I probably got about 30 or 40 of them. I got me a nice uh, stainless steel chain. I was hoping it'd be white gold or something, but it's just stainless steel. But Preacher Digger did get his cross. Check it out, guys. I did get my cross right there. Stainless steel ring, rang up like a 42 or 44, I don't remember. Then another tungsten. I get find a lot of these tungstens. Lots of them. Uh, these two here are gold plated. This one rang up as a 51. But you can see some of the gold is coming off of it. Gold plated, and I think this one rang up like a 51. And it's got another stone. And this also, you can see a little bit of stuff coming off of it. And then here are my silver rings. I got this one, that infinity silver ring. Then I got another James Avery initial ring. I've got like four of these now. I've been on a James Avery kick. And boy, I've been on a ring. Uh, I've been in the ring zone, haven't I? Gosh, I've seen so many rings lately. Check this out. I dug this up. And it's 2018 class ring. And it is uh, the Tigers. And there is a name in the middle, I mean, inscribed on it right there. So I'm going to be able to, there it is, you can kind of see it. I'm going to be able to uh, contact this uh, young man. His name is Jeremiah, out of all names. And I don't know if that's a J on there right there, but it's a cool ring. It's my second class ring I've taken. This is all silver, too. And uh, rang up really good. What that deep water, knee deep. So I've got three rings, uh, silver rings on this trip i'm going to clean this one up really really good and uh look at it later but check out the gold guys check out the gold i started out actually i got this one first and this is a 14 carat sol uh, diamond solitaire with a half uh, carat diamond on it it's got some tarnish on it because it had a spacer on it so i'm going to uh, clean that uh, tarnish off but that is 14 carat gold white gold and I got that one. Then today, I got this little 10 carat ring. It's real thin, but I'm glad to get gold there. So that's two gold rings. But check this one out, guys. Whoa, this thing, you ought to feel how heavy that is. I'm gonna weigh it. it look how thick it is. That, is. that is 14 carat gold ring. That is awesome. I was so happy when that came out. Man, that's gotta hit some weight to it. So three gold rings, two yellow and one white gold. Three silver rings, two gold-plated rings, and a tungsten and a, a stainless steel. And so, there's all the trash. And there's all the treasure. I always say the greatest treasure isn't what you can find in the lake. It's not gold rings or anything like that. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, my friends. Keep looking up. Till we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I appreciate it very much.